Also in Caracas, Venezuela, Latin American historians and researchers called for Latin American unity during the closing of the International Colloquium Ayacucho 1824-2024, an event that debated the historical transcendence of this battle and its relevance in the regional scenario. Luis Francisco Brandon with the report. In the second cycle of conference, historians and opinion experts reflected on the significance of the Battle of Ayacucho up to the present day and how it can inspire new forms of integration and cooperation in the continent. In 1824 and 1825, after the battle and the victory of the Bolivarian army, what began to be discussed was the project of Latin American unity. And the press says it. It is part of the work that I came to present here. It is an exercise of the tracing of the way in which the press in Mexico, Chile, Argentina, Peru, Colombia received the victory, how it was published, in what way it was made known that, indeed, in the south of America, the liberation of the territories from the Spanish dominion had taken place. So it is very interesting. They affirm that new research and tools currently allow a constant and renewed revision of what happened in Ayacucho, and that sustains the patriotic discourse of a united and sovereign America after the victory of 1824. There have been two interesting phenomena. One is the digitalization of archives that has allowed new young historians and also recognize historians to show us other visions of that Ayacucho, what happened in Ayacucho, why after Junín the victory of Ayacucho was so important. And secondly, there is a historiographic renovation by not abandoning the patriotic discourse that was always present in the academies of history of the 20th century. A deep agreement in the face of the current challenges in the region, inequality, poverty and political fragmentation, hence the importance of an insurgent history that offers other aspects of the independence struggle. Throughout these 300 years, there have been different forms of participation and resistance of the peoples. It has not always been the same. That is why there is a common thread. We talked about that from 1824 to the present. There is a common thread. There is the peoples in resistance, the leaders that appeared. Our America has a great wealth of men and women who have given their lives for the liberation of all people. From Venezuela, the national government promotes the celebration of the Bicentennial of Ayacucho to make a greater communication effort and bring these reflections to the academies and educational institutions. And furthermore, to make an effort now with the new communication technologies of this era to produce pieces like this, as Telesur is doing. Telesur is doing a tremendous job. I congratulate Telesur for the work they are doing in the diffusion of all these materials and this colloquium. You do not know the spiritual food and the inspiration that you have brought us with this colloquium in these days. And I hope that you participate in all the events of commemoration of Ayacucho for the highest thing that we are going to do with our people. The colloquium ended with the patriotic songs that accompanied the emancipation deeds of Bolivar and Sucre, and unprecedented coding and restoration of the original manuscripts of those great musicians who expressed with revolutionary fervor the process that gave independence to a large part of the continent, which resonates today in the collective memory and honors the Bolivarian legacy 200 years later. Luis Francisco Blandón, Caracas, Venezuela.